I'm a conservation biologist. I conduct aerial surveys for conservation planning, especially in Africa. I've been really lucky. I get to work with terrific conservation workers in some extraordinary places like the Nika Plateau in Malawi, the Luanga Valley in Zambia, and the Salu in Tanzania. I believe that good science will give us good information which will let us make the right decisions about issues that are too often decided on rumor and on guesses in the press and in politics. It used to be that knowing that there were about 10,000 buffalo in a reserve, or over a million wildebeest in the Serengeti, was enough. But today, we need to have exact figures for wildlife populations and know their trends over time and over the landscape. Are the populations going up or down? Why are they disappearing exactly there? We fly light aircraft 350 feet above the ground, back and forth over our survey areas, counting the animals we find in calibrated strips alongside the aircraft. The human eye is still the best tool for spotting animals, but we use mapping and photographic technology to increase accuracy. What drives me is long-term conservation, thinking about having wildlife around in 100 or 500 years' time. Many people think that it's a losing game, that we are seeing the last of wild things in wild places. I don't think that's right. There are huge challenges ahead of us, but if we use science and conservation, we will succeed in large part and have wildlife in Africa into the future.